Hello, and welcome to the video for what is the random rotator nodes. We only have two nodes for random rotator. And it's pretty simple, so we'll just quickly cover it. I'm going to run this loop six times. It's plugged into a random rotator node without anything special, and we're going to print out the values. And you'll see we now have six random results. We're going to get pitch 78, yaw of 494, and we had a roll of zero. We run it again. 259, 82, 0. Run it again. 255, 90, 0. They are randomized numbers. But you'll also notice that the roll, the last value for each of those, has always been 0. You can get a randomized, assuming that the roll, which is going to be your x, is your forward value. You can get a randomized enough value by just running the random rotator to make it look good enough, where you don't have to do the optional roll, roll. It doesn't have to randomly roll the roll. However, if you want true randomness for all three of your X, Y, and Z, your pitch, yaw, and your rolls, you're going to go ahead and click the roll checkbox. Now when we run this, you'll see our roll is randomized as well. And those are your only differences, whether or not you want complete randomization or not. Lastly, the last node is the random rotator from stream. It's identical to this random rotator version, except it takes in a random stream. If we can plug it in, there we go. And that means it's going to have a fixed set of random values based on the stream. So you can see here 248.69. We run it again, 248.69. And a third time, 248.69. Random streams, you can get more information on them by watching the what is the random stream video. But they're good for fixed sets of randomization. And that's it. The random rotator node is really simple. Optional roll checkbox. Returns back a pitch, yaw, and a roll rotator value. That's been randomized.